guys welcome back to my channel so how are you guys doing i hope you've watched my um, last video i was excited about the winners of the giveaway hopefully you won and even if you didn't there will be a lot more giveaways and i'm sure that at some point you will win so yeah i'm excited about that and today i wanted to come on here and talk about how i travel and how i do so you know within a budget so i don't make a lot of money like i'm not kim kardashian obviously or anything but i still want to have fun and put a holiday you know going to the beach and doing fun things because i want to see the world i didn't get a chance to travel when i was young because my parents were akago they did not want to spend money on that just pay your school fees read your book what do you want to do with the vacation right <laughs> and then um but yeah on a serious note I really want to see the world I want to travel and see amazing places and cultures that I've never um, experienced so how do I do this on a budget I'm going to be talking about that in this video and I hope that you watch till the very end and that you subscribe you like and you share to your friends if you're a student and or you're working and you don't have just enough money to like travel if you think that traveling is just this you know going on a vacation you have to spend thousands of dollars sometimes you have to but there are places you can go to that would not cost you as much and i'll be giving you those tips the first point is to plan ahead so if you think that at the beginning of the year in january you you want to have two vacations or you know one international trip and one local trip try to look for that time that you get time off work or off school and schedule that uh that plane ticket, buy that plane ticket ahead of time. My recommendation will be anywhere from three to six months ahead. So if you be traveling in September, buy latest by March. That way you're able to save money on those tickets and you don't buy last minute ticket that costs you twice the original price. Number two, um, recommendation is to travel in groups so look for friends that you like and you enjoy being with I put that phrase because the last thing you want to do is to spend your hard-earned money to go on vacation with people you don't like or people that are cranky I did that one time this friend was actually a friend of a friend and it was as if something went off in her head and she started acting weird she will ruin the vacation for the rest of them but i i was like i already paid for this trip i don't care if you like key yourself no really why do you come here and come up beside you no i've already paid so i'm going to have a good time and i did have a good time but that did like put dents in that um trip but you get my point look for those friends that you truly enjoy their company that are open they don't complain they're willing to walk a little bit they're willing to sweat a little bit slay queens are the worst to travel with they say it's not there's no oxygen here oh my god where's nitrogen please stay in your house you know what i mean find friends traveling group on this you know by doing this you save money on your hotel so if you're able to get hotel rooms that have two queen beds you save money so that four girls can um stay in that same room and you can split the cost also um feeding and just exploring you save money because sometimes when you buy um group tickets you get discounts on those kind of tickets and you can look at groupon ahead of time and book ahead of time also the advantage of traveling in groups is that you become adventurous so before i used to travel on my own and me and that what what is it called that thing that they take you up they put you inside balloon and be taking you where my mother's name is mrs Oyeleke. she doesn't play those kind of rough play so i didn't used to do that until i got a chance to travel with someone who was more adventurous and i did all of those things i did um which one is that motorcycle on top of water ah huh? jesus see i'm a bush girl but yeah you know the one i'm talking about skydive no not skydiving um okay you know the point and then i did the one that you i don't know the name that you go in a balloon or umbrella and you go up see i will put pictures somewhere and you see me i even took off my wig because the air in that up, up there wanted to take my wig i was like no so don't look at how i look in that in that picture but you get my point and that way also you have your own party you don't need 
new friends literally you have your own party anything that you do even from like eating breakfast you can like laugh and have a good time so find friends that you like being around and like being around you and plan a trip together that way you save money right so another tip the num the number the number third imagine the third third tip is to be on time so on the day of travel and your day of return make sure that you have your bags packed and you get to the airport on time there is nothing more annoying than missing your flight those air hostesses eh? if you go and meet the one that her eye is strong she will just raise up her eye like this until you pay that money they are not letting you go on the next flight don't be like me i traveled one time and i got stuck in Heathrow airport or whatever it's called and that lady, in fact, the accent she was even speaking, I did not even understand. The one that I was speaking, she did not understand. So there's no way to even beg her. I had to pay 200 pounds, 200 pounds, and I was a student. I almost cried, but I had to pay. So don't be like me, be wiser. Be there on time. Another tip that goes hand in hand with the third tip is to pack light. Don't, you are not moving, you are not relocating, okay? It's just a vacation pack light my recommendation is to buy they sell a uh, dollar or two dollars um bags in walmart dollar store anywhere and you can buy like travel uh, um, sizes and you put all your toiletries in there and then just make sure that you pack little or like nothing you don't need like before i would pack like six pairs of heels where am i going is the beach even in real life, I don't wear heels. Do you understand? So make sure you have a realistic um, packing plan and that you pack so that you're able to reuse some of the heavy items that you use, like your jacket, your heels, things that have width. So that's the width. What's that? Width. Another way that I save money uh, is by using services like Sky Scanner. It's pretty much a service that lets you buy one-way flights and you can buy the cheapest one-way flight from your um, departure airport to your arrival airport. I'll leave the description box below. I don't know how to explain it better than that, but you get cheaper rates. So instead of, think about it like flights traveling from maybe like Dallas to California. They stop in Nashville, for example, and you are just going to Nashville. So you're only going to the first leg of that trip you can get it for cheap and you just get off the plane and go to nashville so it's like a hack that you can use but in this situation you're not allowed to check in a bag because remember if you check in a bag until you get to your destination you don't get your bag back so you can kind of like plan and use the system to favor you that way because sometimes those flights are cheaper so that would be my next tip the other another website that does similar kind of service is called Scott's Cheap Travel. I'll link the description box, the um, link in the description box below and you can check it out and you can register so they send you um, tickets when they get deals. I see tickets to China, to Bali, to different places below $300, so can you imagine? So definitely check them out. Another um, tip that I have is to travel light so that you don't pay for bags and you don't just don't have a lot of junk with you while you're traveling also the last but not the least tip is to remember to bring all your equipment and accessories i can pronounce things like that but yeah don't forget if you're going to like the beach or you're going to somewhere where you'll be in the water a lot they charge so much to take your pictures under the water if you've been on a cruise or anywhere you know what i'm talking about they charge you ridiculous amount and sometimes you just want memories so you just pay i paid 80 dollars one time for pictures of me looking like a baby elephant inside the water it wasn't even a cute picture but i wanted it so um remember to take your gopro your waterproof cameras your swimsuits your flip-flops your sun protector your hats your sunglasses just remember to take your waterproof waterproof phone case and things like that those things they sell you know on the cruise or wherever but they're like super super expensive don't pay attention to the people in the back i'm filming in a public place so their faces are not showing so i shouldn't get seen a lot of trouble 
but you get my point and I'm I hope that I've covered all of those things I think that I have covered the ones that have come to my mind and the ones that I thought about before making this video thank you guys for watching my video thank you for coming back I truly appreciate your support I appreciate you a lot my friends who keep repulsing and sharing with your friends I see you all God bless you and if you're new if this is the first time you're seeing my pretty face you need to subscribe click 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 the subscribe button share and like and put a comment down below on like I've traveled for what $60 to Arizona from Dallas return flight so I would like to know the cheapest amount that you've traveled from where to where just to keep it fun and light and yeah tell me which of those tips that you find most helpful and I'll see you guys in my next video thank you bye bye Thank mm -hmm. you.